Why South Africans need to think seriously about rainwater storage and rain harvesting. Rainwater harvesting is a technique that collects rainwater and stores it in a reservoir for future use. Rainwater tanks are the best way to store rainwater for household use, garden watering, and other purposes. They are also a great way to save money by reducing your water bill. Water your garden more often. Rainwater harvesting will improve your garden because you're able to water your garden more often. Especially in winter months like in places like Durban when there's less rain. Rainwater harvesting systems will keep your yard green and beautiful all year round. Getting started with rainwater harvesting. There are many tank brands and manufacturers in South Africa. Most known are Jojo Tanks, Roto Tank, Eco Water Tanks, and SBS Tanks to name a few. They all serve the same purpose and range in liter capacity and configuration. If space is limited look for the vertical design which is slender and takes up minimal space for the capacity of water it holds, or the horizontal tank which can be placed under something and out the way. Piping to the water tank needs to be factored in, more often than not the existing piping will redirect to the water tank. If there's already a gutter system in place, your plumber will redirect the gutter pipe to the water tank. Rainwater Collection Checklist 1. Select where you'll place the tank. 2. From the weight of the tank it's advisable to throw a concrete slab for the tank to sit on. 3. If you'll be using a pump and motor assembly, have an electrician install a weatherproof point near the tank. 4. Make sure it's possible to get the tank where you want to use it. A 5,000 liter water tank is a big structure. 5. Roof area can be any size, obviously the bigger the roof area the faster the tank will fill up. 6. Metal or corrugated iron roofs are best. 7. Concrete and tiled rooftops work fine as well. 8. Thatched rooftops are a no-no for rainwater harvesting systems. Yes, you can use rainwater to flush your toilet. South Africans use fresh drinking water to flush their toilets. This is crazy when you think of the number of people who don't have clean running water at their disposal. Depending on the age and make of the toilet, you're using 5 to 10 liters per toilet flush. Connecting up your rainwater tank to your toilets is easier and cheaper than you think. Why it's important for South Africans to think about water storage sooner rather than later. If you live in South Africa you've experienced load shedding and are aware the root cause of their failure is ESCOM's poor planning and management, it's only a matter of time before the Department of Water and Sanitation implements the same load shedding of water. There are areas in Durban that can be without water for days because of damaged pipes and water supply failure, because of old unmaintained equipment like pumps and motors. Having a supply of water during this time can be really helpful. Topping up your swimming pool with rainwater. South African summers put lightly are pose hot, it is. It's the best definition to describe how hot parts of South Africa can get. Evaporation of water from swimming pools during hot summer days can often be noticeable, couple that to kids jumping in and out of the pool on a hot day sees you losing a lot of water. Topping up your pool with your collected rainwater is another way of using the rainwater. Pre-filtration Filtering the water before it gets into the tank, the better the filtration the better the water quality. Unfiltered water wears out the pump faster. Reduce unplanned maintenance of the pump and motor by filtering the rainwater. Unfiltered debris in the water storage tank is free to any bacteria that may be in the water and will over time create a very unhealthy environment for rainwater storage. Unfiltered debris builds up much faster at the bottom of the water tank, you'll know when the tank needs a clean because of water discoloration and the terrible smell coming from the water tank. Conclusion Rainwater harvesting is a cost-effective way to reduce your reliance on the municipality water supply. It can also be used to provide water for livestock or irrigation on farms or gardens. 
South Africa's rainfall is varied with annual figures of around about 450 mm of rain. South Africa's annual rainfall, 464 mm. The average annual rainfall for South Africa is about 464 mm which is below the global average. The rain falls primarily during the warmer summer months, with brief afternoon thunderstorms. It's greatest in the east and gradually decreases westward, with some semi-deserts areas along the western edge of southern Africa. The exception is the Western Cape and its capital city Cape Town gets almost all its rainfall in winter. Cape Town sees most of its rain between May to August. KwaZulu Natal is fortunate to have good rainfall in the summer months. Durban's rainy season is January, February, and March, then picks up from November. Durban has a subtropical climate with the rain being a welcome thing during KZN's hot summer days. Johannesburg and Pretoria's months of rain stretch from October to March with Johannesburg's rainiest month being January. During the summer months, Pretoria and Johannesburg have spectacular afternoon thunder and lightning storms. You'll be collecting rainwater, topping up your water. Talk to Clicker Plumber Durban about a water tank solution to suit your budget and needs.